Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds, and today we're going to run through some of the weapons, gadgets, and features that I think didn't work quite so well in Battlefield 4. We're getting to the end of the BF4 life cycle now, and looking back, there have been a whole bunch of new features added into the game, and now's the time to start sorting out the good from the bad. As always, this is just my opinion, so feel free to let me know what you think about this list in the comment section below. Hopefully if, as a community, we can start this discussion now, we can end up with a better experience when Hardline and later on down the track BF5 releases. So to kick off my list, at number 5 is the AC-130 gunship. Now, this isn't exactly a new feature, and the complaints about this particular feature aren't new either. Since Battlefield 3, the gunship has been wrecking infantry players, destroying vehicles, and generally making life difficult for the opposing team. I wouldn't say that the gunship is as bad as it was in Battlefield 3, but in a game like BF4 you're bound to get unbalanced games, and this is where it really starts to get annoying. Sometimes one team is able to control the gunship capture point for an entire round, and this can make a server even more unbalanced, which leads to people leaving the game in frustration. And coming in at number 4 are impact grenades. This again isn't a new topic which has led to DICE nerfing these grenades considerably from what they were at launch. These grenades basically explode on impact giving players no time to react and even though they do less damage than a standard grenade they still hit hard enough to finish off a slightly wounded player. There's been countless times where I've been surprised by an enemy and managed to find cover only to have an RGO explode right next to my face a few seconds later. These grenades might exist in the real world but they don't exactly transition well into a game like BF4 because they take Take the tactical element out of grenades and basically hand out free kills on maps like Locker and Metro. And next on my list coming in at number 3 is the Remote Mortar. Now on Conquest you don't tend to come across mortar guys that much, but more and more I'm seeing guys camping up the back and using the mortar on Rush. I don't necessarily have a problem with the concept of mortars, but in BF3 countering a mortar with another mortar was easy because all you had to do was drop a shell on top of his mortar and he was dead. In BF4, the fact that mortars are remote means that a player using one can set it up out in the open and camp in a safe corner somewhere to fire it. This means that even if the mortar itself is destroyed, the enemy player can just put down an ammo box and deploy mortar after mortar for the entire round, dropping shell after shell on top of the MCOMs. So coming in at number 2 is Commander Mode. Now I know there's people out there who really like Commander Mode, in fact I know a few people who play it quite a lot. For the rest of us though, well, we've no doubt been spotted hundreds if not thousands of times by enemy UAVs and killed by the enemy team when we thought we were completely safe. Sure, two commanders going head to head does sort of balance out, but quite often you find that only one team has a commander, throwing down UAVs and making it very difficult for the other team to make any progress. I think part of the reason Rush is so fun now is because Commander Mode has been removed, and personally I think that if it was either removed entirely or the matchmaking was considerably changed, it'd be a whole lot more fun for the rest of the players on a server. And finally, coming in at number 1 is the counter knife mechanic. I mean sure, no one wants the melee system in Battlefield to be like Call of Duty, but compared to BF3, I think DICE really messed up the knife mechanic in BF4. Not only does the long animation leave you vulnerable to enemy players, there's almost no chance of executing a successful knife attack from the front. In BF3 you could swipe twice from the front to kill an enemy, and even though this was difficult to say the least, it actually worked sometimes. I think in future BF games they either need to remove the counter knife mechanic completely, or at least make it a bit more skill based by changing the counter button to a random button, or a series of buttons. But anyway guys, that just about wraps it up, so to finish up, I think DICE have done a great job with BF4, but in a lot of ways they've been a bit too ambitious with some of the new features. At least now we've had the chance to test them out for a year or so, so maybe if they could find a happy middle ground between BF3 and BF4, we'd all be a lot happier with future releases. I'm sure there's a bunch of solutions to the problems on this list, so let me know what you guys think of this list and let me know what you'd like to see changed in future Battlefield games. As always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, and if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos, I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. But until next time, see you later, and have a good one.